Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number number two two. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in the room four two seven and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it a soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had, had arrived right on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen, frozen, solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and reached and reached gained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he, en he entered the door on his left. Yet, yet there was not as not a single person here either. Feeling away, away, away with disbelief. 
Stannis decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping, hoping he might find an answer there. So Coming to a stag, 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 staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his mat his manager's manager's office, 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 Stanley was once again stunned to discover not, a, not an indication of any human life. Shocked, shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What, what secret was being held from him? From what he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth true that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the, bo the boss had assigned it an extra secret number 288445. But of course, Stan Stanley couldn't po possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to have input the correct code. Her but she luck. Amazing. He stepped, he stepped into the newly opened passageway. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why, why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not, would not go unanswered for, for, for long. Stanley walked straight ahead, straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this, did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each, each bore the number of an employee in the building, stand at co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this bin. 